Lucio Ball has been out for a couple days now, and after I've played it a little bit, and I've played the Copa Lucio Ball, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, if I am, good, if I'm not, sorry, but uh, I figured after my experience as playing, I'd go ahead and give some tips and tricks about how to win more games, and how to be more effective, and how to not get blown out of the water, because out of all the games I've played, I actually haven't been blown out of the water, we've lost by one or two points, actually, no, we have got blown out of the water by one game. But those people were crazy, and we played really bad. So anyways, we're going to get on with the tips and tricks. We're going to get on with number one. I don't know if there's going to be a number one that pops up on the screen. If there is, ask in its glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if not, just imagine it's there. It'd be really cool. So number one is playing in a three-man stack. I suggest this. I would not play Lucio Ball, especially ranked Lucio Ball, if I'm not in a three-man stack. Just because the reliability of your teammates is way better than going in with Beavis and Butthead and none of them want to play goalie. It's, I promise you, it will play better, you will feel better, and you you won't have to stress about them being bad and just, just getting ranked about where you are, but really they're not that good. Uh, now this number two, boom, popped up, bam. Uh, is this goes along with the three stack? Have a designated goalie. Um, when one person plays goalie a lot, they will get really good at it. For us, we have a goalie. He's really good at it. Uh, all three of us can kind of play a little bit, but we're not as good as him. But that way, the more your goalie plays, the better he will be at goalie, and that way they won't score. And if they can't score, then it's going to be a tight game at least. Um, so going on with number three. Stay on both sides of the fields. Don't have both strikers, which are the two people attacking for the ball. Don't have both strikers both go for the ball on the left side or the right side. Uh, try to stay on your side of the field. Now I get a lot of times you got to cross over and kind of block the ball if, they, if they're going for the goal. But just stay on your side. Stay spread out. You know, pass it back and forth. Don't just try to get the ball and shoot. Try to pass it, you know, get them to make a mistake. That's about what soccer is. It's trying to make the other team to get a mistake. Uh, now, this is going to go along with having a designated goalie and uh, having designated strikers. So what we do is we're going to go ahead and start. I have some uh, little diagrams drawn up of the best starting strategies. Now after the start, it can go any which way, but these are the best ways to start. So if you spawn in and your goalie spawns in front of the goal and your two strikers spawn up and the ball spawns in the center, then just have both of your strikers attack the ball at first and then peel off to their sides and then play the game out through there. Moving on to the second is when the ball spawns on the left or the right side. Uh, have the striker on that side go for the ball. And here's a little tip. When you go to hit the ball, hit the ball into the wall at an angle so it bounces like it kind of ricochets off the wall and goes towards their goal. Don't try to hit it straight at the goal because that way a stalemate kind of happens and go either which way. But if you can get there and hit it at an angle, they're not going to be expecting to hit it so fa like get there first and hit it fast. So it kind of bounces off. Now the person on the opposite side, what I usually do is I will speed boost onto the jump pad and wall ride all the way over to their side. Because if you wall ride, you get there fast. So you can get there before they're even expecting it. And you can get a quick goal because the ricochet is going to come out into their side of the center of the field. And you can just kind of boop it in and score a fast goal. Now, a lot of people are asking, well, what happens if the goalie spawns up front one of the striker positions? Well, if he does, then uh, let's say he's on the... For us, it would be left side, but for them playing on my little diagram, he's on the right side. But if it's in the center, uh, what he does is go f and try to boop the ball onto their side of the court and then slow and then back up to the goal, and then the person that's playing goalie will stay there. And then he, once the real goalie is back to defend, then the striker will kind of move out onto his side of the field and they'll play regularly. Um, if the ball is on the... Uh, goalie side then he just does what everybody else would do he would goes up boops it on try to get an angle 
and then he'll back up to the goal, and then the striker will go out. And uh, if he's not on that side and the ball's on the opposite side, then all he does is just speed boost back to the goal, and then once he's there, then the striker will go out onto his side. Uh, it seems like a lot, but when you get it down, you don't have to even say anything. It just happens. And that way, you always have the best goalie covering the goal, and the people that play striker more, then they'll get better at striker, and that will inherently make your entire team better. Okay, this is the next tip. If they are playing very aggressive and you need to take a more defensive stance, I suggest two by the goal, uh, two in the goal box, basically, and one at center field. This is to kind of keep the ball down the field, but we've had these games where their teams just play hyper-aggressive and just try to keep the ball on their side as much as possible. But you want to have two blocking the goal, so that way there's two boops ready, not just a boop and a try to punch it back. And that way, you just you have a man advantage down there because if their goalie leaves the box and you can, you know, take a cross the field shot and make it in because nobody's gonna be there to stop it. So you always want to have a man advantage on defense. Now this is something that a lot, I have seen a lot of people not do, and I really suggest on it. You want to shoot the ball at the goal in the air. Uh, air shots are always harder to block because the way the jump pad kind of shoots you straight up. So how you actually shoot the ball is in the air is you want to point to the top of the ball and then boop it. That will give it a trajectory in the air and it's not on the ground. Because grounders are, you basically, you're at higher levels, you are not going to score a ball with a grounder. Uh, and as you increase in rank, the goalies will always get better. And they usually you're not going to score with in the air. But at lower levels, you can easily score with an air shot because the jumping and timing the boop the right time is hard. And... You can make a lot of goals off that. Uh, this is going, if you are down, play hyper-aggressive. You want to keep the ball on their side of the field as much as possible because the more that the ball is on their side of the field, the more mistakes that they can make, and it, you can capitalize those by scoring a goal. On the opposite hand, if you are up, I would suggest always having one striker play midfield because a midfield striker can always stop you know, a ball coming before it even gets to the goalie because you never know. The ball mechanics are kind of wonky, so... You could even have an uh, an easy ball coming at you, but if you boop the wrong time, then the boop doesn't register and the ball can just go into the goal. So if you're up, try to have somebody play midfield. That way that they can, it's like a second line of defense and it's not just your goalie that has to stop it. The thing we're going to be covering is the old use and when's the right time to use and when's the wrong time. Um, now, if they break it down, or if they one of them pop their ults and it's on their side of the field and they hit it a long range, that's your advantage. All you gotta do is boop it up in the air away from them, and that way they have to waste their all getting back to it. Now, if they are on our side of the field and they pop an ult, I would suggest that your guys' goalie pops the ult just so they have the same amount of boost so they can stop it. Because 9 times out of 10, Usu that is ulted and is using their unlimited boops and their speed can be a goalie that doesn't have their ult popped. So I would suggest using defensive... Uh, using the defensive ult if you're the goalie a lot of times. Now, if you're down, have somebody trade off with you for goalie and have the goalie use his ult out as a striker. That way you have the most attack possible and you're not your goalie's not sitting there with his ult wasting it the entire time. Last thing we're going to be uh, talking about is the corners. Now, the corners in this game are exactly like Rocket League. That's basically what Lucio Ball is, is Rocket League. But what you want to do is you want to keep them out of the corners as much as possible, especially your corners, because those corners, their mechanics are so funky that a lot of times you can get a fast goal just by hitting it and it rounds the corner, your goalie misses the boop, and then the spin of the ball just kind of easily nudges into the goal. So if it's on your side, try to keep it. I would suggest keeping it in the center of the field as much as possible. That way they have to take long shots. Uh, it's a lot easier to respond to them. When you get onto their side of the court, just keep as much pressure as possible. You want to be passing it back and forth to teammates. You want to keep it, you know, you want to keep their goalie on edge, and hopefully you'll waste his boop and you can just take it in easily. So, guys, that's all for my Lucio tips and tricks videos. I don't know actually how many tips we have when it comes down to it, but uh, if you guys like the video, leave a like. If you didn't like it, you can dislike it. I don't care very much. And uh, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, subscribe and I will see Can nobody get up in my car today? Back seat, feeling like a charter plane. Bumping silk the shocker charger to the game.
paint dripping like I'm whipping marmalade.